Omega-3s give us multiple health benefits, and these fatty acids are essential building blocks for our bodies. But many people don't know much about them. Take a look. Hi, do you know what Omega-3s are? I've heard of them, but I don't know what they are. I think it's good for your health. It sounds like a vitamin or a drink, something healthy. Do you know what your omega-3 index level is? No, but should I? Is that important? Do not know, but I'm hoping it's high, maybe. Yeah, you got me with that one. Should it be high or low? I'm not sure. I didn't even know that existed. <laughs> Do you know how to get omega-3? I'm not really sure if it's something like you take or like you just like get from like the sun or something. Do you think you're getting enough omega-3s from the food that you're eating? Sure, I think I am. Well, I hope I am. I eat so much, so I'm certain that I am. I mean, look at me, I'm a thick girl, can't you tell? <laughs> well, for those of you who also don't know much about omega-3s, we invited back cardiologist Dr. Suzanne Steinbaum to help explain their importance. Welcome, Dr. Steinbaum. Thank you. I'm here today because I want everyone to know how vital omega-3s are for cell function. And as a cardiologist, I like that they support healthy blood flow in the arteries and can help support cardiovascular health. And omega-3s are not just good for your heart. They support cognitive brain health, healthy joints, and can even be good for your eyes and your skin. But our bodies actually don't make them, so one way to get them is from the foods we eat. Well, that's true. Cold water fish have omega-3s. Experts recommend eating two servings of fatty fish per week. Cod liver, flaxseed, canola oil, soybeans, tofu, walnuts, all of these also have omega-3s. But nutrition labels don't usually list omega-3s, so you might think that you're getting them when you're actually not. I'm a member of the Global Nutrition and Health Alliance, and we completed an omega-3 study funded through an educational grant through RB, whom I've also partnered with. 98% of the people tested had levels of omega-3s below the optimal range, recommended for heart health. So diet alone might not be enough. So if that's the case, Dr. Steinbaum, can you explain how people can test and get to know what their levels of omega-3 actually are? Absolutely, if you're curious, talk to your doctor. You can get a detailed result from a simple, easy to use omega-3 index home test kit, or you can answer three simple, quick questions on knowyouromega3s.com. Well, how about we quiz our audience? You guys ready? <laughs> All right, so by show of applause, over the last three months, how many of you have eaten seafood or non-fried fatty fish three or more times a week? All right. Lots of people, I'm glad you're doing it too. Okay, over the last three months, how many of you have regularly taken an omega-3 supplement? A couple people as well. Yeah? Okay. All right. And so the last question you want to ask yourself is how many servings of omega-3 fortified juices or milk do you consume on a daily basis? Keep in mind that products may list omega-3s on their packaging, but look for two specific omega-3s, EPA and DHA, which support heart, brain, and eye health benefits. But if your levels are low, supplements may be an easy way to get the omega-3s that you want. But not all supplements are created equal. I recommend MegaRed 4-in-1 to my patients. They deliver 600 milligrams of DHA and EPA per one small soft gel as opposed to two standard fish oil pills. Yeah, and I, and I think that's great advice, but remember that not everyone is going to have low levels. If you think you may, or you're just curious about your omega-3 levels, please get tested. And as always, talk to your doctor before starting any supplements. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Dr. Steinbaum. Thank you. Thanks. Stick around, we'll be right back.